everyone. Welcome back to Nanolab Fix. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence, Google AI game changer, Gemini. We are already using ChatGPT introduced by OpenAI. Let's talk how Google going to beat ChatGPT. Four days ago, Google soft launch their latest Gemini. They launched that in three pieces, Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro, Gemini Nano, depending on the processing capabilities of each device. Onboard processing will be possible without connecting to the cloud. Gemini Nano is a small, more efficient version that can be run natively and on Android devices. Um, Gemini Pro, the middle tier version, strikes a balance between capability and efficiency. This model performs significantly better than Google's previous flagship model. Palm 2, it currently powers the Bard chatbot. Finally, Gemini Ultra is the most powerful model in the series. It excels at complex reasoning and has outperformed open AI GPT-4 model on various benchmarks. A few months ago, open AI announced that GPT-4 had multimodal capabilities such as process text, audio, and images, however, Although it can process various data types, the model's primary design and functionality is focused on text-based inputs and outputs. But multimodal capabilities such as text, images, videos, and audio built into Gemini from the ground up to ensure that it natively understands all data types, Gemini is able to generalize more easily as it understands information from text, images, audio, and video. If I get a direct video feed, for example, it can understand what's happening in the video as a human. It can recognize even simple drawings and it can imagine and give a logical statement of what is happening and represented in the real world. Uh, tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black, or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. What if I tell you it's making a squeaking sound? Oh, if it's squeaking, it's definitely going to float. Hmm, nice. It is a rubber duck. It is made of a material that is less dense than water. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Clue two. This country loves football and has won the most men's World Cups in football history. Hmm. Currently, you can use this Gemini AI through Google Bard. However, it is still not possible to interact with a video feed in this way. Maybe Google will provide this as a paid version later. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.